So Ian, first three points of the season, you must be over the moon. Pleased with that? Uh, pleased with the three points. Um, pleased for the performance for 75 minutes. I thought we were outstanding. I thought we did the job we asked them to do. Really disappointed with the last 15 minutes. I felt we, we got a little bit sloppy. Um, I felt we, we tried things we shouldn't have to do. We should have kept the ball. They were down to 10 men. And all we've got to do is see the game out. And I felt we got a little bit complicated. We did things that we weren't doing in the first 75 minutes. And to be fair, they've, they've, they've got back to 2-1 with two minutes to go and could have scored in the last minute. And they've hit the crossbar. And it would have been so wrong for us to come away without anything for the, for the first 75 minutes we put together. I mean, one of the things that we were saying on commentary, Ian Rogers was with me on commentary, we were saying how good we look defensively, not just the back four, as a team there. Look fantastic. Yeah, and as I say, the, you know, the coaches have to take full credit for that because they've worked extremely hard on that over the last sort of four or five weeks. We worked extremely hard on that on on Thursday night. So, you know, full credit to the coaches and full credit to the players because they listened, they learned. But that's just that last 10, 15 minutes we we just decided that the game was won and it wasn't. Full credit to Chesham because they'd gone down to 10 men. They kept going. They uh, they brought Lee Bird on up front, which is always going to be a hand. And you know that chance they had in the last minute there in the 93rd or 97th minute could have brought them back into the game at 2-2 and, and that would have been disappointing from our point of view because we've worked so hard to get in front. We, we, we've had some, is it luck with the sending off? But it's obviously helped us. It gave the lads a bit of confidence and, um, and I thought we played really well after that for 20-25 for minutes and from 2-0 we, we could have gone 3 or 4 quite easily. Um, but as I say, that last sort of 10-15 minutes really disappointed me. We've got to learn from that. I know we're quite a young side um, but we've got to learn that we, 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 we concentrate for 90-95, 100 minutes. And looking at the first half, as we finished the first half, we were saying we dominated that, probably 70% to sort of 30% of, of them. Um, but you weren't too happy. You weren't happy with the official going in at half-time. What was, what was some of those? I issues? thought it was just a bit harsh on, on Kyron. I mean, Kyron seems to yeah. be this person that gets picked up for, uh, uh, yellow cards. And I was just concerned. He pulled out the challenge. There was no malice in the challenge. And the referee was saying there was intent there. But what it does, it stops Kyron making a tackle in the second half. So if, if there's, no, there's no contact, and the referee said there was intent, but there's no intent because he's pulled out of it. So... You know, I just think he was just trying to even things up because in the first half, but listen, I've said all along, I wouldn't want to be an official at this level, um, at any level, to be fair, because you know, you win some and you lose some, and sometimes you have to accept the, the good and the bad, and you know, fortunately, we got one in the second half where he sent their goalkeeper off. Right, I was, going to, well, I was going to ask you about that, because on commentary, we thought, oh, he's getting the yellow card out here, because there were two defenders that were very, very close. Were you surprised to see the red? Um, I, 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 you're probably right there, because I'm not quite sure. Um, but again, I don't know what the rules and the regulations are now in terms of, is, is it a dangerous challenge? It's outside yeah, the box, he's taken that. the man. Um, I said to Joe, when he came off, would you have scored? He said, no, you're quite right, there was two players around him, but maybe it's the first challenge, it was quite high, and uh, maybe that's the and reason why. And how is he? He's tender, um, like us all really, I mean, uh, when I say all, I'm fine. I'm actually feeling a million dollars, to be fair, at the moment. So, um, But Joe's picked up a, a, a kick to the calf and he's very tender. Mitchell, um, his calf is still tender. Manash we've had on the bench today with his calf, he's still a little bit tender. Yeah. Um, Joy's got an ankle, he's tender. Um, Ches has picked up an ankle injury, he's tender. Yeah, um, so course, it's, yeah. um, it's, uh, it's, it's, been a hard, it's been a hard week, but we know this season's going to be hard. It's going to be one of them 46 games, which is an extra six games. We've got FA Cup, we've got FA Trophy. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got a hard sort of three or four months coming. So we've got to get these players back fit and, uh, and hoping to play. And also we've got Mackay from Stephen, who's just done a hamstring, yeah. so he's tender. So it's, um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's a period we're going through. And it, we just got to try and get through it and get over it. I mean, Devonta Stanley's been outstanding the day. Wow, yes, he's, I agree. He's, <laughs> he's tender. He's got, a, he's got a groin injury. Um, but he's managed to get through 90 I didn't want to play him 90 minutes, but unfortunately, coming back from the injury he had last year, he's starting to feel it in different areas, which is what we expected. So we're going to have to rest a few of these uh, on, tra on training night on Tuesday. But we'll train Tuesday and Thursday with the fit ones and, and maybe try and give the others a bit of a rest in terms of trying to get them back for next Saturday and next Monday. OK, and finally, just got to say, 
what a great turnout today. I know it's a local, localish game, but fantastic. There must have been nearly as many Saints fans here as Chesham fans. It was unbelievable, and I said this on Tuesday night. You know, the support on Tuesday against Hungerford was outstanding. Uh, it's just a shame we couldn't have given him that goal. You know, it's great for Sean to go and get two goals today because, you know, he's any sort of player like Sean needs needs those goals. Um, but again, the turnout was fantastic. As you say, we must have had sort of three, three, four hundred, uh, and it's fantastic for him just to travel. It's not far, as you say, but they've still got to obviously pay money and they're still going to come and support us. And it's nice to give them the three points and, and a victory. Excellent. Ian, thank you ever so much. No problem. Thank you very much.